So the tree line is where trees stop, stop growing when you go up a mountain. And we tend not to think of a tree line in Britain, but I'm in uh, the Cairngorms at 600 meters, uh, and there's this rather interesting tree here, uh, this Scots pine, uh, and you can see how, uh, how misshapen it is. So I'm here with Ron Summers, who's the expert in this area, written the classic book on Nabinethi Forest, uh, with Isla in the background. Uh, so, so what are we looking at here? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a stunted pine, it's a Scots pine. Normally there would be two or three times this height, but at this height, this altitude of 600 metres, it's just too cold and windy really for, for reasonable tree growth. So you see that the, the, the branches there have been wind trained, these twigs there, and this branch too is, is heading towards the northeast as a result of the southwest wind. So that's pushing towards the right hand side because yeah, the yeah. wind's coming from the, wind the left. The wind's coming from, here. from the left here. Yeah. The other thing that the, these trees are affected by is snow through the winter time. And it builds up to such a weight that it, it bends dry, the, the branches down and uh, eventually will break some. So you can see broken branches on, on various trees round about here as well as, as this bending or training by heavy snow. So, so what's this look like if you go to the tree line in Scandinavia? What does that look like? Uh, you get the same, same processes, uh, wind training and heavy snow and slow growth at this altitude, but the species can be different. So we've lost here birch which would have grown beyond the, the, the pines. We're only seeing Scots pine here, which is still, it's still doing quite well because we're now, because the deer numbers have been brought down, there's quite an, a lot of young trees were established. Well, when I say young, these are probably still could be 20, 30 years old, some of them. But they will then suffer from the same processes. You know, there's, there's bent and broken trees up there. Uh, and likewise, you can see some of the, the branches are, are really just coming at ground level, which is again characteristic of these tr trees growing at this altitude. And these are what they call Krumholz trees. Yeah, it's a German word which refers to the crooked nature of the, of the branches and the trunk. So I guess what you're saying is that with the reduction in deer grazing and I guess also with climate change, we're likely to see expansion of trees up the hills. Um, uh, may well have more birch trees. Yeah. And then uh, over time, as these grow, they're quite likely to be these crooked Krumholt trees yeah. as the characteristic yeah. uh, vegetation that we're likely to see in the yeah. future. Yeah, though it's possible we may get less snow in the future, so we may get less of the crooked natures, but we still get the effect of the wind, maybe even stronger winds in the future with climate change.